Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another Apex Legends video. My name is Sweat if you guys are new, and in today's video, we're going to be teaching you three simple yet very effective methods to leveling up your game or improving in Apex Legends Season 9, or otherwise known as Apex Legends Legacy. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and dropping a like on the video. It really helps me out in getting my videos further pushed out into the algorithm but without further ado guys let's hop into it so i actually want to start this off with a little bit of a bonus tip now i don't know about you guys but sometimes when i'm feeling tired or lethargic i'll head over to my local gas station and grab myself an energy drink like monster or red bull or whatever it doesn't matter uh, but if you guys are looking for something else to satisfy your craving and you're not really into those type of energy drinks make sure to head over to glitchenergy.com. They have a wide variety of powders, supplements, and even if you're not in the need for energy, grab yourself a t-shirt, grab yourself a sweatshirt, and use code SWEAT for 25% off. You're not going to regret it. All right, guys, so tip number one in this video is actually going to be to head into arena mode, whether that is solo or with a duo or even with a full squad. And I want you guys to use weapons that you don't normally pick up, okay? Weapons that you feel very uncomfortable with, that your shot is off with, maybe the wingman if you're a controller player and you don't really hit your wingman shots, pick up the wingman. Or if you're not good with the RE45 or the Mozambique, <clears throat> myself, I need to pick up the Mozambique more and practice with this weapon. And it will definitely be doing so in arena mode. This is a great spot to test out your weaknesses. And in a game like Apex Legends, uh, it's heavily RNG based. So you're going to get a lot of weapons off the rip that you wouldn't necessarily want to take in the late game. But what you're actually training here and improving on is getting good with every single weapon in the game. While other players will be stuck behind, usually the normal or casual player will be good with about two to three weapons i would say normally three to four if you're a little bit more skilled than the really skilled players are obviously very good with most weapons in the game but that's not a large portion of the apex legends player base okay so you're gonna have a massive advantage if you're really good with every single weapon meanwhile a lot of the community like i said they're only going to be good with a couple weapons now tip number two is actually going to have to do with arenas again and once you've mastered basically getting used to every weapon in the game and getting at least decent with every weapon in the game i want you guys to head into arenas and play for positioning get your rotations down and on point and figure out what spots what cover that you can use while rotating into zones now this is a thing that you can do in arenas and public matches of course because once you get into those rank lobbies, positioning matters a ton and rotations are going to be crucial. And I want you guys to quickly ask yourselves a question. How many times in the highest tier rank lobbies that you can get into, like where do you start struggling in ranked? Whether it's gold, platinum, diamond, masters, whatever you guys start struggling in, how much does positioning matter in those lobbies? Do you notice massive changes in skill level do you feel like you're getting outgunned 99 percent of the time or do you just feel like positioning is ruining your rank games because in my personal opinion i think positioning is super super important once you get over to those high tier lobbies the gun skill really is the same between all the players it's the positioning and the rotation wise that really just makes or breaks a team so focus on improving on that in arenas or public matches like i said getting the best location possible and rotating early you never want to be rotating late in these rank lobbies, especially in those higher tier rank lobbies because it's going to come back and bite you in the butt. All right, and the last tip that I have for you guys today is going to be one that I actually still struggle with to this day. It's going to be over peaking angles. I'll notice a lot of newer players. And like I said, even myself, a more advanced player, and I'd consider myself probably top at least 5% of the players in the world in this game. And I still struggle heavily with over peaking if you guys lose the first engagement in a gunfight okay the first little bullet transfer then you should not be peaking that same angle again because your opponent is already going to have their crosshairs aimed at that location ready to fire on you and this is something like i said i have to get better at and improve on and the only real way to improve on this is going into arena going into public matches and even going into rank games you're going to learn very very quickly that you should not be re-peaking the same angle if you do not hit the first transfer of bullets okay and i'm going to play a gameplay for you guys after this on uh, artillery i believe it's in this is an arenas match a very intense arenas match and i think you guys can really learn a thing or two from this i made a couple mistakes in this video and i want you guys to comment down below after this is all over 
what I could have done better in this arenas game that I was playing in. Anyways, guys, enjoy the rest of the video. Drop a thumbs up, like I said before, if you enjoyed, and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new, and have a great rest of your day. Peace out. to recharge my shields. Not bad, not bad. Try the mega flank. Mega flank strat. Got some decent damage. I spy an enemy. Sending a care package. Now impress me. That's my teammate. to recharge my shields. What? Yo, I got caught out in the open. I thought he knocked one, no? Like, what is this guy doing on the left side? Oh my god. The trade. Let's go. Good stuff. This is a pretty dominant combo, I'm not gonna lie. Scout and RE. On this left side, if I can get height, which I will get height. Dude's never gonna peek again, apparently. Oh, there he goes. This guy's gonna try to flank. He has pushed up way too aggressive over there. All we gotta do to win the round is wait, and they end up pushing the other side. What? One kill and 1200 damage, that's pathetic.
He was looking for it. Confirm to get sweatier by the game if you do well. We only we only lost or we only won like one in a row and then it gets sweaty. Shooter, move. Under fire. What? I'm did you see that? I should not have shot right there. Yo, and then this guy is sitting. Oh my god. Dude. Good stuff. You're dead because everybody on the team is using Spitfires every single round? Can't move. Reloading. Recharging my shields. Like it actually just wouldn't let me move for ten minutes. Let's go. Come on. He ain't gonna like my charge rifle too much, boys. I'll tell you that much. Nobody's gonna be liking this. Gotta be running for the hills. I need to get an angle from left side. What? <laughs> oh, sheesh. You can still see your little head, my guy. Better you using those bats.
Charging shield. Recharging my shield. Yo, that fuses one bullet, man. He's at his own, bro. Let's go! <laughs> he died his own. <laughs> Good stuff. Let's go! That was a long game. That was like a pretty evenly matched battle. I will say.